Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to a bit of a different type of horror game. So, this is the Violent Horror Stories Anthology. This is a collection of multiple different horror games, such as Sensation, uh, all along the Toon Tower. I ate an old man's liver, now this... Oh my god, that one I'm not sure about. But uh, there's one in particular that we're going to be playing, because apparently it's coming out at some point, hopefully soon, and uh, it looks really good, and I wanted to play it. So, uh, it's this one. No, I'm not human. I'm... So yeah, this is apparently an intimate story about a disaster and guests from underground. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a... From what I understand, it's basically like, uh, you're not my neighbor. So, uh, let's get into this and see how it plays. Okay, so... This is the main menu. This is actually really cool looking. I like how it, like, actually reacts. It's like 2D, but it's reacting like the 3D plane. So, uh, let's start this. See how this goes. Oh. Wait, I'm actually... I was not expecting an actual, like, 3D space. What the hell? I haven't actually seen anything on this. Oh, spaced open. Okay. Uh, people from the cities have already started coming to neighbors. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Oh, that's nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> now I hear the, these stories more and more often. Uh, an acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come, and who knows what's next. Uh, is it safe outside? Is, what's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I even recommend it. That way, you at least realize uh, what surroundings surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is this like a when day breaks scenario? What what is this? Is this an apocalypse? Uh, is it better not to leave the house now? Wait, what do we do now? Yeah, what do we do now? I'm curious about that. Let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in, who not. Okay. It's hard to deceive. It's hard to deceive visually, or decide visually. God, I why am I why was I saying deceive? That's decide. Decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look. In the windows, you don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight. And tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me when in the afternoon and we'll talk. Okay, it seems no one else will come tonight. Where did the guy go? He said the cabinet. Is this the cabinet? Or is this the cabinet? Where's the cabinet? Which fucking... What? Bedroom. Okay. Oh, did I just sleep? Okay. Good morning, dear viewers. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining, and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken 
a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intens intensification. But they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. Okay. How do I... What do I do? I don't want to sleep, I want to talk. Okay. How, how do I... Oh, space. Oh. Oh, is it daylight? Living room. Oh. Okay. Oh, dear God. I'll talk to you in a second. Hold on, I want to have a look at the other fucking areas. Okay, so we have the kitchen. The pantry. Oh, that's what this is. I would have thought that would be the cabinet. The bathroom. Okay. Let's talk to you, then. Hello, good sir. Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in the heat, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, check pe checking people for signs of guest should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, uh, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. So I'm supposed to sit around and survive? That's kind of weird, don't you think? Very. Uh, let me preface this with the word just in case. During during the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human, in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else, but still have the strength drink beer in the kitchen there's one in the fridge i brought you to chill it'll take you it'll make you so sleepy and wait for help if they call an evacuation stay close to my family now have a beer and get some rest you look tired by the way i've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're alone home alone if you open the door don't say that you're alone okay so i go to the no that's the living room i want the kitchen so you go to the kitchen which is here and pop a beer uh, i'm feeling drowsy from the beer all right So now I go rest. So during the day, I check for signs of the things. Oh. And I can't go into any other rooms at night. Okay. I also can't run. Who the fuck are you? Is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Uh, what's your father's name? Did you forget his name? Oh, you're checking to see if I'm a visitor. Uh, you're smart. I'll start checking people now, too. Uh, did you get here safely? You know, it's likely everything has turned upside down. People now stay indoors or sleep during the day. At night, they go out and do things. 
I'm still not used to being afraid of the dark, but it seems like there is nothing to fear. Or is there? I'm calling Dad for you, good luck. Thanks, good luck to you too. Uh, we go now, I'm afraid to be outside alone at night. We're going to play a game, he made me some kind of game where you have to roll dice. Uh, and then walk, an op walk on objects, I mean like a chair or a couch. And then you can, you have to build a road anyway. I'll show you later. Goodbye. Oh, did they just leave? Am I, am I now alone? Oh no. Oh, hello. New people. Hello. Hi. Who the fuck are you? You look... Why are your arms... Why are your arms so fucking long? <laughs> I was hiding in the pub, but... I was kicked out. Why? Hmm, not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't... Mean to offend anyone. Uh... Don't get me wrong, it's just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is? What do you think? Will you let me in? Uh, you're not a visit. You're not a visitor, ain't you? Are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? What do you mean, trouble, homeowner? Murder and fights are against my soul, but I let no harm come to myself. What I like is eating and drinking and taking and talking in a good take, talking in a good mood. Is that a problem? Uh why do you think it will be different here? Uh why did they kick you out of your last shelter? I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. I told you people just felt uncomfortable with me. There were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best that I that they kicked me out. Those who'd have eaten me... Those would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. Alright, come on in. Thanks. Trust in people nowadays is worth mo no more than a, than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe, all right. I can't promise anything. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, are we gonna get more? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go outside, go, go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? What? Uh, how did you get here? I didn't really intend to come. Yeah, I, the asphalt is already melting under my feet, but it's not that bad here yet. It will make you laugh. That's kind of creepy. I've got visitors in my house, huh? Can you imagine they kicked me out of my own home? Now I'm wandering around looking for somewhere to hide from the sun. Uh, what do you think will happen in the future? I don't know. Will I survive? Who will help me? How long will I have to search for help? I don't know what will happen next. I can't even guess. Aren't you scared by this? I am. Very much so. Come on in. Thank you, oh thank you, really. Oh god, I'll live one more day. God, she's terrifying. No one else will come tonight. Alright. I'm gonna fucking die, I can almost tell. I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking for. We interrupt your, our morning show for, urgent, for an urgent message. Today at 6.28pm or am, there was a powerful solar energy eruption. This flare was larger than sci scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. 
we urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now onto the news. Aliens? People emerging from from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tadpo tabloid headline. Eyewitness reports con contact with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. It turns out he was one of the, these visitors. Why would perfectly white teeth be... what? Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now let's move on to other news. Okay, so I can identify visitors now? Oh, is that my... oh hello. Oh, it's you. God, you are fucking tall. Jesus Christ. Hello. Yeah, did you want something? Uh, how do you recognize a visitor? What do you know about the cataclysm? Uh, I have full energy right now. How do you recognize a visitor? I'm curious. I know no more than you. Visitors can be identified by perfectly white teeth. This is a fucking... This is fucking bullshit. They just want us to kill each other. And it's not clear why. Uh, I need to check you. What do you want to check? Do you show the news? Show your teeth. Teeth. Do you want... Just, you want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. That is very yellow and fucked up. Yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck with me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. Okay, I think I won't waste it on him then. Uh, is anyone in here? I thought so. You said you wanted a corner. Hello. Uh, hopefully this will be over soon. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. Huh? Are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh. I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't really remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I even been to one? God, I can't re even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. I mean, that's pretty white? Is that... Do I fit the description? Whoa, whoa, hello, what are we doing with the... Why do we have a shotgun? That can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? out. No, it's just a coincidence, right? How can I be a visitor? I can't be. I can't be, can I? I remember my life. Nothing in it. Nothing like that. Thank you. Okay, that's disturbing. Why did I pull out a gun immediately? At the first sign, I pulled out a fucking gun. What the hell? Did I get one more person? Now? I swear I had one more person in here. I guess I don't. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just gonna talk to her real quick. Hopefully this will be over soon. What do you know about the clinical? Uh, oh. I don't even know what to say. I decided to look out the window and I wish I hadn't looked out there. The sun just burned some kids. I don't want to die from the burning sun so badly. I'd rather die a quick and painless death than die from the sun in agony. I don't want to be burned to death. I don't know. It's only going to get worse. I know it. We're all gonna die. 
I'm sorry. I'm very worried. Okay. That was... That was depressing. Jesus Christ. Oh, you know what I should probably do? That I didn't do last night? I can check out the windows, can't I? There we go. Outside the window stands a neighbor and his daughter. They play happily together, forgetting the horror that is happening. Just for a moment. Watching this makes you remember your childhood and gives you a warm feeling of nostalgia. That is fair. That is fair. That's very fair. All right. Anything happen out of this window? There are bodies of teenagers on the ground. Someone killed them. It seems to be recent because the blood hasn't dried yet. The picture gives you goosebumps and makes you feel a little uneasy. I liked the other window better. <laughs> I think I really liked the other window better. Uh, either, oh, what the fuck are you? On the path stands a man as pale as death itself. There are strange folds in his skin. The skin seems to be too big for him. You can't see his eyes from from here, but you can feel him drilling you with his gaze. You feel fear and pray to God that the creepy visitor will avoid the house. Something tells me no one's here. No, no humans are the visitors. Um, who the fuck are you? Uh, let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Who are you? It doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor, but there is something I would ask of you. Later. I'm not sure yet. You don't mind the heat? I always feel cold. While some are burning up outside, I wrap myself in jackets and still feel cold. I'm scared to take off my clothes. What if it only brings more suffering? And what if I can't die from it? What the fuck? C come in, I guess? Thank you. The ceiling is a little low here, but I'll be fine. What? Low? Low? What? I'm sorry. How fucking tall are you, lady? Oh, hello. What the fuck are you? How fortunate we are. We've witnessed firsthand the consciousness of human passion what human passion the earth will be cleansed the sun will do its work and we will go to the to a new clean world that's the fucking good news yeah you're fucking scaring me what the fuck dude are you out of your mind Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns, and burns us for a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We'll all, we've all done all sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. Gives his hit. Gives his hit to us. What? And that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. Uh, you mean we all have to die? Nah. Sins will fade away. The sun may die. But we will live. There will be no more deaths. No more stealing. No more greedy bastards who can't sell me what I want for a fair price. Can you imagine such a thing? Do you rec realize what this is all about. You better fucking leave. I'm not having a fucking weird cult leader in here. Fuck you. Did you pretend you didn't know anything about the sun? 
Well, fuck you then. I'll save someone else. Alright, bye-bye. Yeah, go fuck yourself, buddy. I have a cult leader in here. Oh. Who the fuck is you? Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are participants, too. Who are you? Just a person. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. I came out of the shadows. I'll stay in the shadows. What are you talking about? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Open at the beginning, top paragraph. Open near the middle, last paragraph. Uh, beginning. The dead will come and tell... And he will not be believed. What? What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Okay, apparently you didn't even want to come in. Okay. I don't know why the fuck you came then. Yeah, time to go sleep. Alright. Nap time. <laughs> God, this is a weird game. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal. The experts predict that it will continue in to intensify. There are there are continuing to there are continuing reports of eyewitnesses about from eyewitnesses about encounters with the visitors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently re re ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an op acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Yep, that's actual. That's it. FEMA staff, ma staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee s started functioning. Wait, what? Functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator for vis of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be. Identified by dirt under their nails. As reported by FEMA, this is discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, uh, promptly contact FEMA members and call uh, the hotline at 0451. Please stay alert and calm, and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. Alright. Is anyone here? Nope. Oh. Not the cabinet. Kitchen? Nope. The bathroom? Nope, no one in here. Uh, oh wait, I should probably check her. I'll check her last, actually. I think the other two are in the living rooms if they're not anywhere else. What the fuck? I wish there was some warmth. The guy's gone, and I'm guessing he's in the trash bags. Um, have I fucked up already? Is, is that what's happened? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. Hmm, teeth? If it helps in any way, sure, look. Oh, shit. What do you see? I got it now. Oh, uh, here out. Thank you for your trust. I hope you can be trustful. There's something eating up me up, but I can't open up to you yet. Sorry. I had to check on you. You want to check hands? Nails? I'll show you. 
Hmm, looks like I chipped them all or something. But take a look anyway. What the actual fuck? Do you think my fingernails fit the sign of visitor? Got it. You know, I wouldn't just go based off of that, but the person in the same room as you is dead. So, um... Goodbye! You know what? Jesus Christ, I wasn't expecting that. I... What the fuck is that sound? It's coming from this room, but I don't see anything. She's dead. Where's the other guy? I don't hear any sounds coming from this room. Uh, hopefully this will all be over soon. I had to check on you. What do you want to check? Hands. Show me your finger... Show you fingernails? An interesting sign for sure. Yeah, let's see. Uh, are those, are, those are not quite as bad, but also... That... What's on them? It can't be the ground. I don't even remember digging in the dirt. Maybe someone got me dirty. Someone else, the one person, the one person who I know was not at all one of them is dead, and I just let two visitors in anyway. Is this the end of my life? What a shame. I don't mind. Oh. <clears throat> well, uh, that's that. That's it for me. Apparently, uh, uh that's dark as hell. Uh, I feel drowsy from the beer yet. Yeah. Let's have a beer. Holy shit. I can almost guarantee you that none of them are... S someone... No, wait. One of them had to have been. Because fucking... Or both of them. Maybe they just both murdered the person. Maybe it, maybe there has to be like two of them in order for them to kill someone. Ooh, and the fuck are you? Who are you? Uh, how's it going here? Is everything okay? Why are you ignoring my question? Listen, a. Eh? Are you alone in this hell? Uh, just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some... Driving some away. I have other people taking shelter here. How come? It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. Oh. No one will know what happened when the last guest arrived. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. After your terrible disappearance, everyone avoids the abandoned house. Super. Oh, well, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. Damn it. Damn, I like this game, though. That's kind of cool. Damn, okay, so... I got, like, a fucking horrible ending. I don't think there was anything I could say to him... That would, uh... That would have at all saved me there, because I had no one else in the house. It was just me. So... Yeah. I am war? Did that just say war? <laughs> okay. Uh, well... Um, I think I'm going to end this video here, because that was, that, this is way longer than I was expecting. I'm probably going to do another video on it, uh, focus more on this and not just the entire anthology series. Uh, maybe I'll do it, and I'll probably do one when it fully comes out as well. Because I get, again, it is fully coming out on Steam at some point. This is just the demo that is in the pack. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty fucking interesting. I like it. I like it. I like what they're doing here. It's very cool. But yeah. 
Uh, that is all I have for this video, so I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to the like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway guys, I'll see you in this video, live stream, and everybody next. Peace guys!